If an explosive device is found, it's the EOD team that get the call, with 30 minutes readiness to move. In this training scenario, a suspicious device has been discovered in the Trudos Mountains in Cyprus, a hard-to-reach area. Having the expertise to defuse an explosive is only one part of this puzzle. With time ticking, they have to figure out the quickest way to reach it, more than five and a half thousand feet above ground. So at the moment we're moving from ammunition troop and RF Akateri to 84 Squadron lines where we're going to uh, get a helicopter up to Trudor Station. To make it as realistic as possible, very few people know about today's exercise. The American-made Dragon Runner robot, a £140,000 bit of kit, good at accessing hard-to-reach areas. It's usually transported in a 4x4 vehicle, making up the team's medium role capability. But air travel means the team have to scale down the kit so it's easily transportable. Another piece of the puzzle. It's Corporal Matt Alt's job as a number two operator to control the robot. I'm just creating a little floor uh, for this counterweight bag to sit on, because uh, when the weapon's on the uh, robot itself, it makes it a bit front heavy when you deploy it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to attach this bag uh, with weight in it, just to stop the robot tipping over when uh, we come to fire. So this will uh, fire a uh, high-powered slug of water, uh, which will uh, neutralise any device uh, that we uh, see. So what we'll do now is we'll probably just send this down the road, we'll get it shot on the bag and uh, we'll neutralise that threat. When we're operating the ICV and we're heading towards the threat area, you're constantly looking, you're constantly taking in as much of the environment as you possibly can through that givenly small screen. However, you're using that equipment to the best of its capability. You make a full use of all the four cameras that you have to your disposal and you're always looking at routes of entry that either yourself with the robot or the operator later down the line wearing his bomb suit can take. So there's a lot of things that kind of go into making it run smoothly and then you also in terms of your, your shot with the weapon systems that's attached to the robot you're always considering what sort of effects that's going to have where you're aiming it and where the component parts are going to go. It depends uh, on different environments however there are quite a lot of variables to consider. Once the robot has done its job, the number one operator carries out checks up close. A 40 kilo bomb suit plus kit. It's key an operator approaches the device for checks, even if using a robot. The motive behind a device is not always clear. In conflicts such as Northern Ireland, Iraq and Afghanistan, the military came across scenarios where smaller devices were hidden inside bigger ones, making them difficult for a robot to destroy. So we have a set of actions that we must complete when we go up and that will be very dependent on what we've seen, what sort of device it is and what our actions have been with the RCV. So if we were to approach the normal vehicles we use, driving from RF Akateri up here to Trudos, we'd be talking roughly about an hour and a half. However, if we're using the coming in with the Pumas, it means we've been reduced down to 15 minutes. An EOD tasking can take anywhere from one hour to dozens of hours. This scenario was condensed to focus on key points. I think working with a helicopter, um, you, you've certainly got to watch your kit um, based on what sort of stuff you take with you. You have to declare a lot of it. You need to declare all the ammunition that you've got. You need to declare like things, uh, batteries inside of um, equipment and also the weight of the equipment as well needs to be taken into account. The British Forces Cyprus EOD team has to be able to respond to a variety of scenarios. We cover a substantially smaller area than we do than we would in the UK. So the threats that we mainly deal with are sort of your, your conventional munitions, the natures, flares washed up on beaches, uh, grenades dug out of the ground, things like that from a bygone era of explosive remnants of war and things like that. However, on occasions we have you know, been called to improvise explosive devices as well. From chemicals to IEDs, on land and in aircraft, working in winter snow or sweltering heat, the team must use what resources they have to complete the puzzle before time runs out. Sophie Kakriannis, Forces News, Cyprus. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.